it's Pinkmon and welcome back to the Not So Berry Challenge. As you can see, our boy Jasper is still working on his fitness and his wonderful girlfriend Melanie is mentoring him since she is like the queen of fitness. It is family movie night tonight. It's going to be the first one with Azure and Jasper here and it's also Tyrion's birthday. So because Melanie has work today, I'm thinking of just taking a day off. Because honestly, I can't be bothered to go to work today. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm going to do when she's done mentoring Jasper here. And then I'll throw a little birthday party for Tyrion. He successfully trained his doggo how to fetch. So I think now he could maybe... Aw, oh, Smokey needs a bath. He could maybe train Smokey some other commands like how to sit and all that. Apparently he started that. Melanie is a tough personal trainer. She is like, oh my god, she is just pushing him to his limits as you can see. Um, for his own good, of course. She's 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 being nice about it. <laughs> Tyrion reached pet training level two. Oh no, Smokey's hungry. Azure has just been doing her thing over here. She actually has kind of a bad reputation, interestingly. I think she's level three. Oh, she's actually level four DJ mixing because that's pretty much all she does. <laughs> I'm actually having Jasper offer his friendship to Smokey, and I had Melanie make this purple cake for Tyrion's birthday. Oh, I don't know why it had a negative thing, because it says they became friends. Um, I'm gonna have him try to bathe the Smokey, because Melanie couldn't. Smokey was too busy eating. <laughs> um, Azure's being super nice, helping clean for the party. Though, I don't think we should have it here because this house is so unfinished, you know? I don't think Smokey is allowing um, Jasper to give him a bath. I don't know why. Ooh, for some reason, it looks like... <laughs> it looks like Azure really hates Evan Berry. That's weird. Oh no, I'm gonna call in fake sick to work because I forgot to have her take a vacation day. She might not even have any left. No, it says she has six, but I think because she was late, it didn't let her do it. Um, oops. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Um, you don't sound sick. Come to work or you may not have a job when you come back. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> I guess she's bad at lying. Uh, okay, fine. She's gonna go to work because I really don't need her getting fired when she only has one more promotion to go. That sucks. Um, I guess we're gonna do his birthday kind of late. Hopefully he doesn't age up before she gets back, but I will see you guys when she does get back. Also, is this a glitch? Because this thing keeps, like, playing music and there's no way to turn it off. Okay, so Melanie is about to be out of work in 10 minutes, so we are gonna go ahead and have Jasper order this pizza. Last time we did, um, pepperoni, so let's do something different, maybe... Canadian bacon and we gotta get this popcorn thing out but I'm gonna wait till the food gets here just because I don't know if I go into build mode if it's gonna cancel it out all right um uh, Melanie's now a one-star celebrity she is a um a top athlete so I guess it makes sense maybe we're not gonna have, should we have a whole party it's like I kind of want to have a whole party but at the same time I think it would be really nice for them to just chill here for Tyrion's birthday does that mean to not give him a party? I don't know. All right, the pizza's here. We're gonna come grab this. Why won't he come take the food? He's not taking it. I don't know why. Can somebody else come take the food? Okay, for some reason, just he could not take the food. <laughs> All right, so we got it. Thank God. And this time, we're not gonna mess up. We're gonna put the popcorn in everybody's inventory before we start the movie. Some of them have already watched movies on their own. Okay, so let me get this popcorn maker out. I think we will just do a chill thing here for his birthday because it's just kind of annoying. Because <laughs> um, it's so late and everything. I don't want to invite all these people over. So, oh, does this actually have to do with their cooking skill? It does, oh my God. Let's do cheddar popcorn this time. Gonna make sure nobody grabs any food even though everyone's pretty hungry. She's probably already trying to grab food. Yeah, don't. Just go here. <laughs> Let's have these guys talk a little bit. They barely know each other. Melanie, do not touch the pizza. Do not touch the pizza. Azure, stop trying to eat. Melanie, stop it! <laughs> Alright, the popcorn's done. Let me have them all just grab a serving. 
if we pick up a serving, I think they'll actually put it in their inventory. Pick up a serving, pick up a serving, and pick up a serving. And I think before we actually, um, what the heck? What is the problem? <laughs> before we actually start the movie, we should have Tear and Blood as candles because, okay, grab a serving then. Jeez, this is very complicated apparently. All right, and we're gonna stop eating it because for some reason The Sims is super, super complicated and we have to do it this way. <laughs> Put this in his inventory. She got a bowl, luckily. All right, Melanie, pick up a serving. Maybe only one can pick up a serving at a time. Okay. And you, this is actually dirty. Pick up a serving. Come on, dude. So, ah, Tyrion, that was so fast. I didn't even get a picture. <laughs> Okay then, while well, he aged up, he is gonna get, what should I give him? I kind of feel like good or something. I just feel like he's very pure. <laughs> and we're gonna do the animal one. Yay, okay. Now let's have everybody stop being annoying. You eat this, you grab a serving, grab a serving. This is so complicated. <laughs> Grab a serving. Okay, and then we'll start this movie once they all grab the pizza. And then they should finally be able to actually, um, let's do this Diamonds Over Sims thing. They should be actually able to eat the pizza and the popcorn and watch the movie all at the same time. <laughs> all right, cool. And hopefully Melanie will sit down at some point and stop being awkward. <laughs> He's feeling silly. I don't like that. I just get nervous when they when they get like that. Um, I guess Jasper's gonna be the one sitting on a different couch. <laughs> Yay, family movie night! Maybe I should turn the lights off when we do this. Um, turn off this room. It's still too bright. Let's turn off everything. Yay! Okay, Azure, why don't you eat your popcorn now and sit? She's automatically gonna say, "Putting plates on the ground—that's that's logical." Okay. I like how the one neat sim put it in his inventory instead of on the floor. How's this movie? How's your whole freaking wall TV that you definitely could not afford? <laughs> Happy birthday, Tyrion. Sorry, it's just a chill one, but honestly, your mom had to work and oh my god, this movie. <laughs> and it couldn't really be helped. Where is he going and what is he doing? Eat your popcorn. Watch the current movie. How does he look, by the way? He's got some scratch marks on his eye. He's got a piercing. I kind of see him having piercing, so. Stop trying to talk to the dog. The dog is interrupting the movie. <laughs> Come on, Tyrion. It's not that complicated. He's not gonna um, have a good movie, movie night, holiday thing if he doesn't do this. Ah, yay! Their first family movie night as a whole family. And I think I, after this day, I need to get these two engaged because I just like really want to move on and have babies and stuff. So, yes, we are doing that. Yay, did you like the movie? They're all eating a little too much. They're gonna get a little stuffed, but that's okay. They all kind of work out a lot, don't they? Yay. First thing he does is clean up the food. He's such a good neat sim. Love it. So, I think the movie's over, so I don't know why she's still watching this, but I'm gonna throw the cake away though <laughs> and probably empty this popper. It's a good thing they do work out since they eat so much popcorn and pizza and stuff. <laughs> so let's empty that. Okay, so Tyrion and Azure are going to bed whenever he finishes this endless bowl of popcorn. And I think that Jasper is just feeling some type of way after this movie night. He just felt like, oh sure, family movie night spirit. He just felt like so close to the whole family like he felt like such a bond with them and oh my god what is he doing 
<laughs> basically what i'm trying to say is he felt like it it just felt right it just felt like their family was perfect and he just like really feels like he wants to marry melanie so i wish he would actually get the um the whim to do it because that would be really cute but even if he doesn't get it i'm still gonna have him propose the kids went to bed and these guys are just like over here overcome with um passion is there anywhere cute we could actually go to do this or should he just do it right in their living room i mean we could go on this bridge that might be cute um chat here oh my god Smokey's trying to follow <laughs> Smokey, you want to be a part of the proposal oh you just want to sleep here okay all right here we go so let's cue some stuff up so they don't move anywhere we're gonna go into express fondness professes undying love and propose which apparently will give him fame even though nobody is watching <laughs> Except for Smokey. Maybe Smokey will post a viral video of this proposal or something. Okay. She better say yes. <laughs> There's no way she's not going to say yes. She even has the whim to get engaged to him. Oh, it's 3 a.m. So my game's going to be a little laggy. Because that's when my MC command does its stuff. Very anticlimactic. <laughs> Alright, so he is just professing his undying love. And here we go! Oh my god, of course you know I'm gonna pause it to take pictures. Yay! <laughs> Aww, I need to get this plum bob out of the picture though. Yay! Oh my god, of course she said yes. Aww, babies! Aww. And then I'm gonna have her do that intense kiss. Because I think it would be really fitting for right now. Oh my gosh! Aw, I'm so excited for them! Yay! Okay, so what is happening in the next part? So tomorrow is, well technically today because it's like 4 in the morning, it's Azure's birthday and then Melanie's birthday is on spooky day. <laughs> uh, when should they get married then? Maybe tomorrow because I kind of don't want to wait. <laughs> we'll just do Azure's birthday and maybe we can have like a party and We'll say it's kind of like a dual party since we didn't celebrate Tyrion's birthday with a, a full-on party. Um, so that's what we'll do. We'll do that like early on. So we can do the wedding later, maybe? I just, I don't want to have a long engagement. I'm ready for them to just have babies. <laughs> they need to woohoo to celebrate this, of course. I like how he told Smokey to get out. <laughs> But Smokey's like, no, I'm gonna sit here and just watch. Smokey, stop being a creep. Okay, he started leaving. <laughs> Yay, I'm so freaking happy for Melanie. She finally found the one after all those failed relationships before. Some terrible, some not so much. All right, so Azure is going to take a vacation day. She's not going to school. It's her birthday. I think I need to give Tyrion a makeover off camera real quick before this because I don't want him looking janky at his um, joint birthday party with Azure. Plus, we're gonna invite his girl Ariel and she can't see him looking like this. We also need to update his room for sure. <laughs> hey, it's me from two days later. <laughs> um, it's just the next day in the game, but... I had to actually do something so I had to stop recording so I'm back two days later continuing right where we left off Melanie just reached level 7 cooking while making this little pumpkin spice birthday cake for Azure um, and as you can see she looks different from the start of the video <laughs> I decided she got really excited about her engagement and she decided I need to freshen up my look for the wedding. So she ran out to the salon and cut this um, really nice all gray hair instead of her ombre she had going on before. Obviously, as you can see, um, Tyrion got his teen makeover. This is his sleepwear, but he's looking cute. And also his face is like a clone of his dad. <laughs> I swear they look exactly the same. I don't see Melanie in him at all. Maybe I'd have to do a side-by-side -side comparison of them to really see it, but he looks like his dad's clone. But 
as much as he looks like him on the outside, he's like the opposite on the inside because he is just like the nicest, purest little bean ever. He's good and he's a dog lover. He obviously got the socially gifted thing. But yeah, that is them. And we are going to do a birthday party and it's like a joint party, even though Azure is the only one blowing out the candles. I'm going to put this in... Melanie's inventory and I guess Jasper went to sleep <laughs> okay he took the day off but I don't know if it went through oh my god I don't think it did <laughs> he, he took the day off when he had like five minutes left before work started so I don't it said like on vacation for one second but then it switched to this go to work thing so I think he's actually getting a performance loss today but that's okay we're not gonna miss our daughter's birthday right Azure, on the other hand, just straight up skipped school, <laughs> and Tyrion didn't have to go because he aged up kind of in the middle of the night, so his first day is actually tomorrow. So we're good, and Melanie just doesn't have work today. So I am going to start a birthday party. The other thing I did um, between this part and the first half of the video is I gave pets to like all the... Um, extended family members because I realized <laughs> what was that face doing I realized I don't do that enough so Amara's household got a little cat and then um, this is actually their kitten Wallace <laughs> Ashlyn's household got this Newfoundland puppy named Biggie obviously because he's gonna be huge when he's an adult and then Grayson got this Chihuahua puppy named Baxter <laughs> I feel like um, he and Bailey would not want to deal with a large dog, but their kids really wanted a puppy, so they're like, okay, let's get the smallest possible dog so it'll be easier to handle. <laughs> but I don't think that Baxter is very easy to handle. <laughs> Probably gives them a whole lot of stress in the puppy stage. <laughs> By the way, I'm recording this at like 6 a.m., so I probably should keep my voice down so I don't wake up neighbors and stuff. <laughs> So I'm thinking we go to this karaoke bar from the gallery called Rockstars. I'm pretty sure we tried to go here one time on a date with Melanie and someone, didn't we? But like they couldn't order food and it wasn't working. I don't remember, but should be fine for this party, I think. Okay, so I set up her little pumpkin spice cake here. Um, and I'm just having Melanie invite over Amara's husband because for some reason he did not appear in the list of people to invite to the party which is really oh he's busy right now that's weird i don't know what he's doing because usually you can invite people even if they're at work strange um really <laughs> Tyrion, you're going to the bathroom in a bush i'm pretty sure there has to be a bathroom here right okay let's have these guys actually order some stuff like maybe we could order some food one of these shared plates so everybody can eat it. We'll get pita and hummus tapas. And then also, what else? Oh my god, this is the same thing that happened last time actually when we were here. It was like the bartender just left? What is going on? And why is he thinking about her? Please don't be hooking up. Wait, Barry, she has to be related to us. <laughs> Or at least she married somebody who's related to us. Um, Phoenix, you're kind of like taking the bartender away from her job, which is annoying. Oh my god, look at everybody. <laughs> They're all just gathered over here. I think I saw Emma was prego again. Yeah, she is. I invited her twins, even though they don't have makeovers. Um, and her daughter ended up getting pink hair when she aged up. I'm gonna fix that later. Here's Dexter with his little makeover. How cute is he? I guess he's a little bit younger um, than Tyrion because he has not aged up. And oh my god, look at Amara and Grayson's daughters. Amelia is so freaking pretty. Look at her. Okay, I'm gonna pause just so I can show you these guys. Here is, I think that's Madeline. Yeah, Audrey's also super cute, but you can definitely see um, the berry jeans in them, can't you? <laughs> they got the like tiny mouth, tiny chin thing going on. Oh, here is uh, Ariel. I wonder if Tyrion still has that first love thing going on with her. Let me check this. First crush, yay, that stays when they age up. That's awesome. All right, let's go and chat with her because this is the first time she's seeing him as a teen. 
Um, and there should not be any closets here, so pe Oh my god! Wait, Ashlyn's pregnant? When did that happen? What? They must have hooked up at the party. Oh my god. Remember when we had the party at Grayson's house and there were like people hooking up in the closet? Hopefully that's her husband's baby. Oh my god. Wait, we have to check. <laughs> oh god, oh god. So, pregnancy. She's pregnant with one female. Okay, thank god. It is her husband's baby. <laughs> Oh my god, that was scary. Wow, I didn't expect her to have another baby. I didn't- I keep, um, the main family members in my played household so that MC Command doesn't do anything to them. So that had to be at the party where they hooked up. Aww, Hadley's so cute. Everybody's so cute. Um, okay, Tyrion. As you can see, Tyrion definitely has a little bit of a belly. He was skinny when he was, um... A kid but I think because he ate so much pizza and popcorn because of the family movie nights he ended up having a cute little belly which is totally fine but yeah he looks like his dad only a little bit chubbier <laughs> look at him I gave him a little nose piercing and earrings he aged up with a nose piercing and I was like you know what? I kind of want to give him a nose piercing I still kept the kind of like combination of gray and plum color scheme going. Let's reveal a deep secret to Ariel. I kind of want to get them together soon. Oh, hopefully these kids and pregnant people aren't using this machine. Um, so maybe we can actually do some karaoke and some games and stuff. So, ah, <laughs> it looks like Azure, she's having a good time, but she's kind of like off by herself. So maybe we can have her play some games and get to know um, some people. She could play with Ariel. Why can't Tyrion play? That's weird. I had her getting to know him. Oh, there he is. I had her getting to know him a bit at the house because they don't, they're not very close at all, obviously. Uh, who else should join them? Maybe, I feel like Madeline would like games. Yeah, okay. We'll let them play. And then Melanie, I kind of want her to do this karaoke thing. I like how they're just sitting here watching this but not actually doing it. <laughs> Let's do a duet. Uh, we could do a pop song with Bailey. Why is that the only option? Um, come and sing a duet. Oh, it's because probably his singing skill is so low. <laughs> oh my god, why can't they do this together? Are we in the basement right now? Is there not one on the, the top floor? Oh, there is one. Never mind. Don't do that. Go over here. I want everybody to see. Wow, Ashlyn. She is like huge for one baby in there. I'm surprised she's only having one too. It seems like <laughs> the Sims in this family always have multiples. Okay, so we're gonna do this ballad. I guess the singing skill doesn't matter um, for, for him. As long as you use the one with the higher singing skill, you can choose the other genres. Because I just chose ballad, and I'm pretty sure you have to be kind of high up to do that. I love her new hair. I just figured she had that hair for a while, and maybe she... What? Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> simulation lag. Nice. Let me do this. Apparently, if you do this, the simulation lag will stop. Cool. I guess that worked. But um, yeah, I just figured she was growing her hair out and she's like, you know what? I want it to be all silvery gray again for the wedding. They look so awkward right now. <laughs> of course, we need a picture of them singing karaoke together. She probably has one of these with every guy she's dated. <laughs> Anyone watching? Oh, let's go check on the, the little gamers. Where are they at? Do they not play? Oh, they're over here. Let me grab a picture of them. I like how serious Ariel is about this game. Tyrion, you quit? <laughs> he was like, I'm out. And then Madeline's out. Huh. Well, let's actually have Azure get to know some people. Because I feel like she needs friends. Since she was an NPC, she doesn't really have any friends. Um, and I don't have any options for her to for like her um, potential partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. I 
think they got a first impression of each other. Let's see what they think. Oh my god, Azure thinks Ariel's annoying. <laughs> Ariel liked her though, she thought she was funny. Aw, did you guys do a good job? Oh, it's the Humor and Hijinks Festival. I don't really care about that. So I guess um, Jasper's vacation day did go through because he just got paid for it. Cool. Grayson, why are you fighting with random NPCs? <laughs> All right, so I think it's time for Azure to maybe blow out these candles. Hopefully this table will work. Nope, it's not gonna work. Let me move it. Is this gonna work? Yay, it actually is. So we are gonna come make a wish um, and make sure at least the main family members are all gathered around here. Oh my God, Melanie, <laughs> she was using the bubble blower. Okay. Happy birthday, Azure. Aw, look at them. I like how um, Tyrion and... Uh, Jasper match. <laughs> when I was doing his makeover, I accidentally gave him like the same shirt as Jasper at one point. Yay! At least Amara is participating in the birthday part. Yay! Congrats, girl. It took her forever to blow those out. <laughs> you guys are a little late, but that's okay. So are you gonna age up? The aging up thing is weird nowadays. Like they blow out the candles and then a lot of times they walk to some random location before actually aging up. Which I think she's doing right now. There we go. So she's a bro goofball. She wants to be a joke star. Uh, what should I give her? What? What is this? How did you meet each other? What? Uh, I literally have no idea what this is. I've never seen this before. I don't know if like one of my updated mods caused this. <laughs> I don't even know who who asked this question. So I was wondering if you could tell me how you met and fell in love. Who's asking? Also, who are they talking about? Because he technically doesn't have a romance. Like he has the first crush thing with Ariel. Um, we went to the same school. We'll just say that. T what? And tell me more. We were best friends. This was love from the first sight. Uh, you believe we're actually each other's first crush? I'll just say they were best friends. I literally have no idea what that was. I'll have to um see after I choose her trait, but I think I want to make her maybe like a dance machine because she's all into the DJing stuff, so. Or a music lover. Yeah, we'll just do that. All right. Yay, Azure. Okay, what the heck was that? Literally, who was asking him those questions? I'm so confused. Melanie asked. Ask about day. What? <laughs> Anyways, if anyone knows what the heck mod that was from, let me know, because I am confused. But, I mean, it was kind of cool, I guess. Ask how you met each other. Oh my god, Ashley just gave birth at this freaking party. <laughs> um, What should I name her? What were her other kids' names? I kind of go for a naming theme a lot of times. Um, I think the theme of her kids were like one syllable names, like Glenn, Finn, and L. So something similar to that. We're just going with June Farnsworth. I feel like it fits the her kids' naming themes. True st what is this? <laughs> And we were best friends. It took us some time, but finally friendship evolved into love. It didn't really take time. I should have done the first crush option. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> Why can I ask Tyrion to be a bridesmaid? <laughs> oh my god, what? I'm just trying to see where this interaction was at so I can do it in the future if I actually want to. It might have been this ask about relationship status, which I think came with a mod about like parent and um, child interactions. That must be what it was. She just, I didn't know it could do it autonomous, autonomously. But um, that was kind of cool, wasn't it? So basically Melanie was asking about his little crush on Ariel, <laughs> which I guess it's, pretty obvious to everyone they like each other but they haven't actually done anything romantic yet so I kind of want to change that maybe we could do that right now hold on oh my god he's hysterical calm down dude I swear he gets hysterical a lot and then I just like worry he's gonna die because I have had a sim die from that before on accident in the past 
Um, I'm gonna form a group with Ariel because I mean what's the point in them waiting any longer when they've made it pretty freaking clear uh, what what is this when they've made it pretty clear from the time they were kids that they like each other you know they called each other boyfriend and girlfriend but um now maybe they're gonna make it official official <laughs> Azure, no, Azure's not going to college. She, she graduated with like almost a D. <laughs> She's using the bubble board. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. There's a robot here. Okay, so he's gonna do this duet. I know he's super tired and we need to end this party pretty soon. But I just want to do this because it'll be cute. It's always cute when you make the couple. Oh, wait! <laughs> Why is that so cute? Just the way they're looking at each other. <laughs> I feel like they have a very cute, like, playful relationship, like, playful flirting, like, kind of teasing each other type flirting. Aww. I just love the the duets thing. They just look so cute together. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're both pretty terrible at singing, but that's to be expected. Aww, baby. His voice. <laughs> he did not inherit his mom's singing ability, that's for sure. Okay, it looks like his little duet is over. He's feeling silly, but I wanted them to kiss after. <laughs> so let me have them come back down to this thing. Looks like they ended up getting some people watching them, including Reed, Audrey, and Finn. Ah, look at these guys. <laughs> They can't even keep their hands off each other. Well, they did just get engaged, so. You know what? We're gonna have him actually take his girl out here to kiss her, and then I'm gonna end the party because it's now 10 o'clock. Where could they go? Maybe he's like, you wanna take a walk? Let's just go over here, whatever. Aw, it's like she's waiting here for him. Okay, why is she embarrassed? Can we say I love you? <laughs> I don't know if that was the romantic or the friendly one. Tyrion, what are you doing? Now he's pumped at least. Oh my god, he went all the way back inside and now he's coming back out. <laughs> so let's go into romance. Embrace her. That might have been the friendly I love you, so we'll go in with the romantic one too. Flirt. Wait, I don't know if I should embrace her. They don't even have the romance bar, so let's not. <laughs> uh, compliment her appearance. Okay, now they have a romance bar. Let's do... Embrace now. That should work. Of course, now he's sitting down. <laughs> okay, and what else? Hold her hands. Oh, what is she doing? A deep secret. <laughs> Something about money. That's funny. Exchange numbers. Even though they obviously have each other's phone numbers already. And... Then I'm gonna do the romantic I love you and see if she has a different response from before. And then we're gonna do a first kiss. I love you too. Aw, yay! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Tyrion! Oh. <laughs> this is so cute. She was literally just one of the kids he met at the pool that one day when he- Oh my god, now the lights get nice? Really? <laughs> Let me have him kiss her again just so I can get a better picture. Aww. He's so happy. Basically they were just like, okay, so I know we've said when we were little that we're boyfriend and girlfriend, but are we really? Oh no, he stinks. <laughs> are we really? Like, can we actually make it official? Ask her to be his girlfriend? Yes! Okay, we gotta do that next. Uh, where's the option? Wait, why can't I ask her to be his girlfriend? Is it because they have the first crush thing? It might just be because they're not, um, high enough in romance yet? But usually when you have the first kiss option, you also have the 
Asked to be boyfriend girlfriend option. There it is. <laughs> Guess we just had to do a couple more little interactions there. Aw, he got her a rose. Yay! I'm so happy for them. I think they really are going to be that... Um, oh, and now he's going to pass out. So let's end this party. <laughs> I think they really are going to be that stereotypical um, high school sweetheart couple. And with that, I think I'm going to end the part here. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be pre-recording a whole bunch of videos um, before my little trip to my hometown. So I'm just going to spend all day recording pretty much. <laughs> so give me a big thumbs up to help the channel out. And I hope you have an amazing day and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!